Oh, what to do? There's so many pieces. Hey guys, Lieutenant Dan here. Oh man, I got so much to do in here. Let's focus on broken things like these chips. Yes. You know, I did a video on this, gosh, a year and a half, two years ago. And I've been fighting, um, keeping these stickers on these chips because all my pieces are magnetized. And I'm finding that uh, due to the weather, these uh, labels will come off. But I think I have the solution. Let me show you. All right, let me show you what uh, what we got here. So like I said, about a year and a half or so ago, I uh, magnetized all my chips so that, um, you know, for those who are new to my channel, you know, I have magnets on every piece um, for my uh, for my table because I have a big uh, piece of sheet metal underneath my map. Anyway, so that uh, these uh, magnets underneath each unit um, will stick to my table. But, you know, when you're dealing with uh, chips and things like that, which, you know, I don't, I don't do too much. I have a enlarged map, but there are times, uh, certain territories where I need to have uh, chips. And um, one thing that uh, I discovered, um, not really knowing uh, the benefits um, of uh, magnetizing these uh, chips is that um, it's a great way to um, uh, pick things up or just, you know, stick things together and you don't have your chips uh, flying everywhere when you accidentally bump your uh, pieces and things like that. So as you can see here, I have a stack of uh, chips and if I wanted to clean up the table. Now you'll notice that I have different colors on each side of the chip. Um, so basically the green these uh, stickers, you can get them at like um, Office Depot or Office Max or something like that. And these are 3 8 diameter uh, stickers. And so they do have different uh, sizes, like a half inch, but the half inch are too big for the circular indentation on the chip. And it goes into the ribbed areas, and I didn't like that. So <clears throat> anyway, um, the uh, the colors mean that you know if the if the chip is like this on the table, then it's the wrong uh, polarization uh, because all of the units uh, the magnets are you know shown in the right way. So to make the chip stick to the unit, then you got to have the green side up. Okay, red is you know the side you don't want, and then green is the side you do want. Anyway, so that just uh, allows you to um, you know. Once you have your pieces, you know, you can see here, you can pick up the unit and then move it to another territory as opposed to, um, you know, reshuffling your chips everywhere. Now, even though I have all my pieces magnetized, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people don't do that. Right. But, uh, you know, I, I would think that this would be a, a um, something very beneficial for those who don't even have uh, their pieces magnetized, let alone uh, a big piece of sheet metal underneath their table because what you can do is you know it just keeps all your uh, chips together so you know I can have this uh, stack of four uh, chips and then you know I can uh, you know move my chips wherever I need to or you know if let's pretend you're on a table and you bump your pieces well you know you're not gonna have a magnet underneath your piece so that piece may fall but the stack of chips are not gonna be scattered everywhere Okay, so I think that's a huge benefit. Anyway, um, so let me uh, tell you uh, the new things that I've discovered. And, you know, I've been fighting this for about a year and a half or so. Um, you know, uh, that when I would, when I would uh, do the stickers, I was finding that the, uh, due to like, uh, I live in the South, the, the humidity and things like that, um, over time, these stickers would come off, okay? When you have them all uh, together like this and when you're pulling them apart, it's pulling the the magnet, but it's also, if you don't have a good uh, adhesion to the, uh, to, the, to the piece because it is very smooth, 
um, I think the, the glue kind of uh, comes up. Now I was using some clear glue, which I don't think, I don't, I don't know if that was actually working. So I, I've been <laughs> doing that for a long time, but it just seems like every time I go play the game, I'd have 10 more chips I'd have to fix. So <clears throat> I think this is going to fix it. Um, so what you're going to have to do is, you know, one, you're gonna have to drill holes. Now these are, I think they're uh, three millimeter uh, holes, which is approximately a quarter of an inch uh, diameter. Now I have a drill press, so I did these in bulk. So I would, uh, you know, just put these down, uh, pop pop a hole in. Um, you know, if you if you needed, if you didn't have a drill press, you know, you could certainly use a hand drill. Um, it would take a little bit of time. If you have an electric drill or a battery powered drill, you certainly could do that too. Um, so anyway, you just gotta you know drill your hole, right? And then um, so that was a quarter inch. Uh, I do believe it's a quarter of an inch. And then the uh, the magnet that I'm using um, is actually I'll have to check the size and I'll put it up in the in the up on the screen here. But this is the size, right? So once you get your uh, hole there, this magnet of whatever size I have will fit perfectly in the in the hole. Okay, so you drop it in there. Now to get the right orientation, that's always the trick, right? And so <clears throat> what you do is. Um, you're gonna have to have like a a, a masterpiece, um, and so you know you can have a, a unit that you know the magnet is in properly. And so what I do um, is that you know I want the green side. So let's see. Yep. So this one's broken. So let's just pretend um, I'm going to fix this one with my new procedure. And um, so what you do is you take that uh, that magnet and you just kind of put it down there, and you get your get your good uh, piece that has the correct polarization. So <clears throat> essentially what I want to do is I want to take um, my a uh, X-Acto knife, I use that a lot, and I just pop this off because I want the green side, which is what is attracted to the unit here. Um, so I just pull this off and so I know that the green side is going to go into this chip where I've already put this green sticker on and it's going to touch that. Now, to help uh, keep the magnet in, I was using some clear uh, glue and uh, you know, just kind of like a all purpose clear glue. It wasn't, I mean, it was okay, but I think because the surface is, um, uh, very smooth the uh, the glue was not adhering to it now uh, to help the glue adhere to this what I'm going to do is scratch uh, just a little bit around the diameter of that hole all right so I have this razor a very sharp end as you can see here and I just go around and I just scratch don't want to make it too much because I don't want the scratches to go outside of the sticker. So I just do it around the edge, okay? Now, <clears throat> also to help with this, um, I'm going to use super glue. So I was trying to, uh, you know, limit how much uh, super glue I use. Now, you know, the drawback with super glue is, you know, you don't want to put too much down because, um, well, it just goes everywhere, and then then you're gonna have super glue, you know, spitting out on the sides, which, you know, I don't want that. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit on the tip of the magnet, okay, just to get it into the actual chip itself, okay. So I just come in here, do this now to help um, get that magnet to, to stay in place, so that I can uh, take the uh, knife off is I go ahead and put my unit underneath and then I can slide slowly the knife off, okay? Now, once you have that down, then what you can do is, uh, because I am working on the red side, I'm gonna take a red sticker. Again, these are three, three eighths diameter and, um, and I'm going to put a little 
uh, super glue and then uh, just a little drop okay I don't want it to be a lot because I don't want it to ooze out so I just put a drop right and then I, I smooth it around hopefully I didn't do too much there okay smooth it around and then drop it on here try to get it as center as possible now what I do is uh, you never whoops you're never gonna get it uh, perfect um, so I just take this and drop it on there and then I take my X-Acto knife and kind of slide it a little bit. Okay, once you kind of get it close, then I think that's pretty good. Then you just squeeze it down and go ahead and give it a good press. And the, the thought is, is that that super glue is going to go into these little scratches, uh, which will help bind the sticker to the actual chip okay so then you know as long as you get you know get I shouldn't have now I should not have any more issues uh, with the sticker coming up now it might pop up on the edge but um, it the whole thing isn't gonna is gonna, not going to pop out which is the problem that I was having all right so Anyway, I, uh, I hope this will help um, others. Um, if you have, um, uh, you know, you use my first video and thought, hey, that's a great idea. Um, hopefully you weren't experiencing uh, what I was finding. Um, if you were, I'm hoping that this video will help eliminate that. All right, guys. Until the next time, take care.